Hey guys, welcome to Geek the Movies. Uh, we're doing a special shorts review for YouTube and TikTok because why not? <laughs> um, we just saw uh, what it was it called? Freud's Last Session. Freud's Last Session. It is a story about Siemen, uh, Sigmund Freud, Freud. Freud and C.S. Lewis. Okay, so Sigmund Freud was <laughs> Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Who was he? Who was he? He was a famous psychologist. He basically invented the field of psychology when it comes to uh, the twenty first. So it's 20th century America. Okay. Um, and then C.S. Lewis was the Christian apologist slash author who wrote uh, most famously um, the Narnia, Narnia, Narnia Chronicles books. Chronicles of Narnia. And many other very famous works of Christian fiction right. and nonfiction. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we just we just got out of it. Um, I, I like the trailer. Anthony Hopkins plays Sigmund. Oh, that was Anthony Hopkins. Wow, he looks different. He looks old. He looks what? exactly the same he in every movie. Like Wasn't he the guy from Silence of the Lambs? Yeah, but he's yeah. been looking... But he looks like way heavier and older. Anyway. So, um, Anthony Hopkins plays... Uh, Freud. Freud. And then I don't know who the actor was that played C.S. Lewis, but he did a good job. I yeah, liked him. Yeah, he was good. Um, not... <sighs> I don't think I liked this movie. Yeah. Unfortunately. I really wanted to like this movie. I I I think it's very basic Christian convers there's nothing here that even is remotely interesting except the stuff you've already heard before if you grew up Christian yeah. or like yeah. the conversation with atheists and like Christians. There's literally like there was one part and I won't spoil it that was intri interesting about his daughter and his relationship with daughter. That was like the most interesting part for mm -hmm. me and my and the second most interesting part was um cs i wanted more of cs lewis talking about the war and what he came back with yeah i didn't get that either no. but those are the things that i was like ooh, go into that more right and they just they didn't do it it was just kind of like a like a conversation like if you ever seen apologists or atheists and christians debate it's they added a little bit here and there but nothing really stood out to me um yeah i I I didn't get much out of this movie, unfortunately. Yeah, me either. I didn't learn anything new, much new about these characters. I didn't. Um, I wasn't intrigued. Yeah. Um. So for me, I'm gonna say pass. Maybe rented if you really want to. And like, if you're looking for just a night where like you're like, okay, I don't want to do a comedy or action movie, just something chill in the background. That'd be fine. I would not suggest going to the movies to see this. No. Um, so for me, it's a pass. Shannon, how do you feel about it? Yeah, there's other better movies about C.S. Lewis that you can watch if you're interested in him. And then there's, there's got to be other good Freud movies, right? I don't know of any, but there's got to be. <laughs> I'm sure. And then, George, how about your review? Um, I I like this just because it was a, it was a bit of a thinker. But, mm -hmm. like, yeah, there was nothing... It was nothing definitive, and I, I think that's exactly how they wanted it. They wanted it to be an open discussion yeah. kind of movie. Yeah. So Which is I, fine. I really like that. You know, I mean, I, I think this this movie would be this movie would be a good movie to watch at home. Honestly, like just when you when you just want to watch something that would Chill, like, would feel yeah. like like a debate. You know, like yeah. that, that kind of that kind of thing, like a open and you know just kind of back and forth debate, not. Not anything like, you know, just aggressive or anything like that, but just just an open debate about, you know, atheism versus um, uh, God or Christianity. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah so I again, I will say one thing. I did like a lot of the scenes that took place with their past when they were kids mm -hmm. or, you know, like in their times. Like that is the thing that was the most intriguing to me. Um, I really enjoyed the daughter storyline and we just did not get enough of that. I wanted more. I'm like, this is fascinating. And like, I want to know how this kind of plays out, mm -hmm. but they didn't, they didn't do it. They did like not a, go there. <laughs> and I, I wish they did. Me you know? too. And like, it just, and then, then the movie just kind of sort of ends in a like yeah. kind of a, I don't know what the word, the movie is just kind of like, okay, well, you still don't believe in God and I still believe in God. Have a good one. It's very ambiguous. It reminded me of that very ambiguous ending of uh, Saving Mr. Banks where you're like, well, maybe she loved it. Maybe she hated it. We're right. never going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. I know it's based off a play. So let's talk about that. So there is a play about this interaction that takes that place maybe that happened see. but we don't actually know if it happened because and, and that's the other thing the play mm -hmm. says that all we know is that sigmund freud mm -hmm. 
uh, met with some sort of Christian apologist from Oxford. From Oxford, so they're kind of they're kind of saying it is. It could have been C.S. Lewis, Lewis, but, but it, it could have been J.R. Tolkien. It could, could have been could have been Tolkin. It, it could have been, been like, anybody. Uh, yeah, some so, random guy. And that kind of. And I, I think that's like a cheap shot. Like, you know, like I thought they actually met. The whole movie I'm watching this interaction thinking. This was a real interaction. This was real they interaction. And I don't other. think this is spoilers. I think people should know that, hey, guys, this is all fiction. And we don't even know what they talked about. They're just making crap. Maybe none of the conversations that took place in this movie were even real or yeah. Yeah. like um, remotely possible. I I don't know. I just I find that type of. It's like you get hoodwinked. Like That's what it Christian feels like. Fi- it's fiction. It's uh, wh- who's Quentin Tarantino? It's like him, like rewriting history the way he wishes it had happened. Yeah, which can be really fun. I don't mind them making a fictional conversation between C.S. Lewis and Freud. That's a fascinating concept. But if you're gonna do it, like go all the way, right? And they just kind of pussyfooted around. Yeah, like we're gonna throw this little bit at you. God's not dead went harder than this and that movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I've tried to like repress my memories of that I, movie because it was so bad. <laughs> yes. That is a hilarious so comparison. I, I think I remember my friend wa- like coming out of that movie and was like if there was ever a movie that makes me not want to be Christian. Yeah, that would be that the would one. Be it. But uh-huh. that's a whole other This discussion. movie doesn't make you not like it doesn't tell you you should be this or you shouldn't be that. It doesn't make really a strong argument Either way, in fact, the argument is kind of a distraction from the more interesting storyline, which is about his daughter that I've, I've never even knew he had a daughter. Um, yeah, like I said, yeah. now I, I'd rather have more of that mindset of like who he was. Like we know we know his writings. Christians always hated Freud and he, from the beginning when he wrote his and, and I and I'm like. He doesn't actually say anything wrong. He's just looking at scientific data and what, like, from a very biological sense, what sex or relationships are. For me, well, that's he normal, had a lot but... of really weird views that most scientists to this day are like, yeah, he went too far on these. Not things. today. Oh no. yeah, no. There's a lot of people well, I mean... that are like Freud was out there and he had some weird things, but we really like these main things that he. That he talked about. These are. Oh, good maybe things. I don't know. So I thought he was talking of, about like LGBTQ, would, and I was like, There's "No, wrong I'd with have that. to That's say normal. like part of part of what I thought was was uh, interesting in regards to Freud was he he would he he kind of went and made certain assumptions based off like trends in history or other weird things like you know let's say it, it was almost like doing a he he almost like used a stereotype. Yeah. As like his findings. Right. Which was kind of the issue that uh, psychology nowadays has with Freud. And so because of that, they've they've they still bring him up in like psychology classes and stuff, obviously, because he was still one of like the, the founding fathers, basically, of psychology. But yeah. But at the same time, they're like, yeah, a lot of this stuff is irrelevant and it's kind of hilarious to look at now <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yeah i mean i i can't say i really disagree with any of this um uh again for me like i think okay so me and shannon and george all agree if you're gonna watch it it could be interesting at home at a chill night but i don't think any of us yeah stream it maybe stream it. if you're like really into one of these guys or both of them yeah, yeah. and uh, and and that's you know like ni- neither here nor there i think the movie is just okay mm-hmm. um Stick around. We're going to post the spoiler review. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link below for the spoiler review. Or you can just click our channel and it should show up as um, Foyd's last session spoilers. Yep. Right? There you go. So we'll be right back. <laughs>